Dan with Learning to Smoke, and today we're going to be making a chorizo breakfast burrito. Now, don't let the word breakfast fool you. You can eat this any time of day, because I know I do. But first, before we start cooking with the uh, chorizo, uh, we are going to light up the coals here. grab this bag of cowboy briquettes. I'm gonna light up two chimneys here. So I'm gonna dump those in. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is take these fire starters here from cowboy and I'm gonna put two of them under each chimney. What I like about these fire starters, as you can see, lights up really quick. So now I'm just gonna set that down. Do the same thing over here. Make sure I get each of these. Look at that. And we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes or so and let the coals get to the right temp I need to before I uh, throw them in the grill. So now that it's been about 10 minutes, what I'm gonna do here is gonna put the coals into the Hasty Bake Grill. So I'm gonna grab a high temp glove. You'll want that when you handle these. What I'm gonna do with the hasty bake, the grills come off in two parts. So I'm gonna take this chimney here, put it in and now, as I put the grates back on here, I'm gonna slide over. And repeat the process. And then put the grates back on. That's burned pretty hot, so what I'm gonna do with this hasty bake is I'm gonna lower the coals. And now, I'm gonna take my cast iron griddle here and put that right there and I got my ingredients here so before I throw this on I'm gonna oil this so we'll take this chorizo throw it on take my handy dandy spatula break it up a little bit now, depending on where you go, uh, usually most grocery stores is gonna have chorizo, but it's gonna be like this little fine grain, grainy type of uh, chorizo. This is legit chorizo here. Sometimes your butchers are gonna have it. Sometimes you may need to go to a specialty shop like a carne area. I can't even pronounce that right right now. But anyway, I'm just breaking up the smaller chunks. I think it spreads across the uh, burrito well. I'll let it cook like this for a few minutes. And I'll like to spread it across and make it like a smooth, even surface. That way I'm getting more uh, cooking surface for the trees of itself. All right, oh, that's looking much, much better. All right, so I'm gonna take a bowl, scoop that on in, set that aside. Got that set aside, so now I'm gonna go with the potatoes. Now these potatoes are frozen, pre-cooked diced potatoes. So I'm gonna spread them around here. So I'm gonna season these up with some CK chicken rub from my home girl, Christy, at Girls Can Grill. And a great thing about cooking these uh, second after the chorizo is that you get some of the grease from the chorizo cooking into the potato. Add some extra flavor. I'm gonna spread these thin. We'll let this cook for a few minutes and then we'll take it off and put it in the same bowl. Set that aside, and now we'll go on to the eggs. But I'm gonna oil this up first because those potatoes soaked up a lot of that olive oil and that grease we had. Pour that on slowly. You know what? We'll throw in some seasoning on this one too. Okay. So 
The eggs cook pretty fast, especially if we got heat like this. Those eggs are almost done. That's how fast they cook. And just like that, I'm gonna scoop them back in the bowl. Now I'll just mix this up in the bowl here. Mix all the ingredients that I've got, that I've cooked so far. And of course I'll mix it up a little bit more when I put it on the grill. Grab that olive oil again. We'll dump that on there. Mix a lot. What I'm gonna do is warm up some tortillas now. In fact, let me just warm up one to start. Just throw it here on the side. Doesn't need to be on for terribly long, but while I do that, I'm gonna dump cheese on here. Got about a cup. Feel free to do more if you want. That's a cup of cheddar cheese. And now I'm doing a cup of pepper jack cheese. Mixing that up there. Cheese is getting melty, I like that. Got this tortilla, warm and toasty. And now, I'll scoop that on in. Just like that. And so now, I'm gonna fold this up like a burrito, at the top and the bottom like that. Now I'll take one side and tuck those corners in. Roll it over all the way, pull back a little, tuck in. Roll back over like that. Sure enough, we got a burrito. Now, we'll slice into it. See all that goodness. There you go. Just four ingredients, awesomeness ensues. So what I'm gonna do now is pour a little salsa on here. Cause I like to live on the wild side. And I'll see what we got here. Mmm. I freaking love this. And you will too. I love this recipe because it's fast, as you've seen. It also is very simple and it's very affordable to do. Uh, Trezo, not that expensive. Eggs, cheese, you probably already have that. Tortillas, you probably have those in your pantry already too. I'm Dan Phelps with Learn to Smoke. Thanks for following along with this recipe for the Trezo breakfast burrito. And until next time, keep cooking with Cowboy. Yeah.